That was amazing. That couldn't have been cooler. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Chill Vibes Only. Happy Friday. It's been a week, hasn't it? Let me know in the comments, how has your week been? I hope it's been okay, but hey, we made it to Friday. We made it to the weekend. Let's chill. Now, this Friday's a little different because, well, to be honest with you, I don't have a full booster box uh, to open. So we're gonna open up a few cards, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about my collection because I've got some awesome nostalgic pieces and I've got some pretty cool modern ones too. So I'll show you what I mean, but let's open a pack to start it off. I randomly have four Vivid Voltage packs and one Rebel Clash. So let's open this Vivid Voltage. Pikachu vibes in the comments, you know the drill. Thank you so much, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put my arm over here. One, two, three, four. Oh, um, editor? Yeah, that's right on the money. Ferrothorn, I edit my own video. Uh, Toodle, shop it, Trubbish. Eevee, Skidoo, Dusclops, and a two cannon rare. Nothing like a nice warm up, am I right? Perfect. So uh, I wanna get into a few of the cool vintage things that I have. All right, so let me start off with some things you already know about. But of course, recently, from Mystic7, oh my gosh, what a guy. It still blows my mind to see the first edition stamp on these cards. Like, that's wild, okay. So I'll get the glare out of there. <laughs> the non hollow muck, which is still super cool, and this hollow magneton. Ah, uh, awesome. And then the original opening with Mystic 7. I will honestly never ever forget any of these. Of course, we have the Team Rocket first edition opening. Oh my God. I literally, anytime I hear the Team Rocket theme, which is more often than you'd think, uh, I just get thrown right back to this break. Yeah, just so cool. A lot of really great cards. Oh my gosh. Again, that first edition stamp. These are really thick stamps. A Dark Flareon, two Charmander, a Dark Weezing, and are you ready? Boom. <laughs> First edition Dark Dragon. I know you guys know this, but I just love to look at these sometimes because it's just some of my fondest memories. If it wasn't chill vibes, I'd be showing you how hyped I am because we have two more bo uh, box breaks with Mystic 7 this month in February. Details down below. One is gonna be a first edition jungle box and the other is gonna be a base set unlimited box. I am thrilled. I am beyond thrilled. But hey, we're chilling. We're vibing. Let's open up another Vivid Voltage. Can we pull something? Amazing. Let's see if we can. One, two, three, four. Energy. Mighty Enna. Pincurchin. Loudred. Milsery. Tynamo. Clefairy. Pineco. Oshawott. Glare and Meowth Reverse. And... Oh, Electros. I saw the yellow and was hopeful. The next thing I want to show you is some collectibles. So, first of all, these are my favorite, favorite toys growing up. Ready? Three. <laughs> these were my favorite toys growing up. They're so cool. They're like these Pokeballs are the perfect size. Really, really awesome. They have a little like dent at the bottom that you can see so that they would sit flat. And then you can pull the Pokemon out and it's like a keychain. So, these to me, mwah, the best. Such a good, ah, such a good toy. I have the Psyduck one that's still sealed. Not because. Psyduck is cool, don't get me wrong, but I just wanted one that was still sealed. Ah! I just wanted one that was still sealed just to preserve the Pokeball, to be honest with you. Look at that. Uh, classic. So classic. So cool. Another Vivid Voltage. Why not? Here we go. Hey, how about the Pokemon Go stuff that's going on lately? Let me know if uh, anyone got any shiny legendaries lately because Raikou is pretty sweet, but Suicune's being a little coy. Oh, Alistair, nice. Matang, Kakuna, C Dot, Eevee, Riolu, Choodle, 
Shuff it, reverse, skidoo, and ah, oh, Garbodor. Ah, oh, rare, okay. Actual trash, but that's okay. We're chilling, we're vibing. We're having a good time. So speaking of Pokeballs, I got a couple more to show you. Uh, this is a modern one. This one has to be one of my favorites. Look at this box. <laughs> this is, yes, you may have seen this before on the internet, the real life Pokeball. You may have seen this in a couple of videos on YouTube, especially with Unlisted Leaf. Unlisted Leaf is of course one of the OGs. Uh, his name is Ando and this is one of the real life Pokeballs. I think it's version two that he reviewed on his channel and it's one of the coolest things ever. Ready, here's inside. <laughs> you always wanted to know what's inside a Pokeball, right? But this is created by Hush Ninja. You can see I did the one, the collaboration with Hush Ninja and Unlisted Leaf, limited run. Turns out the battery died. You can tell the uh, material of this. Oh, and it just magnetizes right back on there. Now the uh, the inside ring, it does flash like, thank you for the support or something like that in Morse code. So super cool, super high quality. This to me is, I mean, you can just see the size of my hand. Like this is such a cool cool collectible it is more than that it is a piece of art we got only two packs left you gotta slow down speaking of one more pokeball all right let's unbox something that we haven't even really touched all right who here used to collect these i think they were from burger king i got this on ebay but i used to collect these as a kid the gold pokemon cards yes they come in this like huge pokeball <laughs> this cool box this of course is the Pikachu one. Yes, and it's like acts as a stand. These are quality, dude, and they were at like Burger King, I think. So like I said, I bought this on eBay and this is still sealed, but we are gonna break that seal right now. Smell that fresh, like 2000. Mmm, smells like the new millennium. Yeah, this is like 20 year old air. Whoa, look how sharp that is. You can, <laughs> you can see the, anyway little scratches from you know just rolling around in the box but gosh that is that is crazy that is so crazy let's pop this open for the first time ever this has been closed for 20 years oh my god it's like so dramatic that was amazing that couldn't have been cooler holy smokes this is a lot smaller than i thought Look at, oh, this is, I remember these being like huge. Am I wrong? This is so cool. <gasps> I'm in love with this. I am in love with this. I am so glad I got this. Whoa, we have a certificate of authenticity. Pokemon special edition, 25 karat gold plated trading card. Officially licensed by Nintendo. 1999 Nintendo of America. Guys, this is possibly 22, 21 years old. This was, I didn't expect this to be as cool as it is. D did anybody else collect these? Holy guacamole, this is so cool. I, it has killed the chill vibes because I'm like hyperventilating now. Anyway, let's close this back up. Ah, oh, satisfying click. So cool. Look at these Pokeballs, hold on. Look at these. I, I hope you're enjoying this. I mean, I certainly am. Back here we have, this was recently acquired, but this is the original uh, special Pikachu edition Pokemon Yellow for the Game Boy. Tatter, this is not sealed. This is open. Snorlax down there. Yeah, see, look at Pikachu follows you on the map. Gameplay on Game Boy and Game Boy Pocket Systems. Yeah, Game Boy and Game Boy Color video game systems. Yes. Displays four to 10 colors. Dude, it's not, <laughs> yes. Again, 1999, oh my gosh. Oh no, Cubone, oh. I forgot he was on the side and Gengar's on the top. No one's on the bottom, okay. Inside, like I said, this is not sealed, but we do have this, the game is right here. Oh, it's so clean. I do want to get a Game Boy and like actually play it again because Pikachu would follow you. And it was just so cool. Player's Guide, Pokemon Trainer Guide. I don't remember this. Oh my gosh, the Game Link cable. So funny story. 
Uh, does anybody remember the game link cable that you used between Game Boys to trade Pokemon? It was uh, like a physical cable, no wireless connection. And my older brother, you know, doing what all older brothers do, had me almost believing that if we were to trade Pokemon, but cut the wire mid-trade, that small Pokeballs would come out and then grow to the regular size, and then we'd have real Pokemon in real life. You don't know how badly I wanted that to be true, but I was just above the age of where I knew he was just trying to prank me. Oh yeah, look at these. My logic, right? My logic was, if that were true, who wouldn't cut the cable and there would be Pokemon everywhere in real life? I'm not wrong, right? But yeah. Oh, this is so cool. I could get lost in this Psyduck. Ah, oh, this is so cute. Yo. Your companion Pikachu. Let's, let's keep moving. So let me know in the comments, does anybody have any old nostalgic toys or cards or games? because this is just too much fun. And we got to open a new one. That was just such great experience. We've <laughs> gone through a lot. We're almost done. We got two packs left and I'm gonna show you just a couple more things. But let's open up this Rebel Clash pack just for kicks. I have no idea what's gonna be in here. I found this in my bag from when I had Christmas and I don't know what's in it. So let's find out. One, two, three, four. Are you ready? Wash, a Halucha, Morgan, Medichan, Roly Coly, Meditite, Grubbin, Electabuzz, Natu, Reverse, Caesar. Oh, it's a full art. It's a Cinderace VMAX? Huh. What? No way. Yo, this is beautiful. This is. Oh, the texture is so nice. Yo, that's my first time pulling that card. One pack magic for Rebel Clash. That's awesome. Killing the vibe though, Cinderace, okay. And here we go, last pack. I'm not gonna ask for last pack magic. This is Vivid Voltage. Can we get the Rainbow Rare Chunkachu? Let's find out together. Crocorock, Delmise, Meowth, Yanma, Fampy, Clefairy, Electric, Aracuda Reverse. It's, oh my God, dude. My heart dropped. I thought it was gonna be a Pikachu. I, I saw the yellow and the black. I, oh my gosh, I really thought. Chill vibes are just all over the place. I can't handle this. All right, let's keep moving. Only got a couple more things to show you and then we're gonna call it a night. We're chilling. Ready? Okay. In one of my older videos, I showed uh, some of my old collection of Pokemon cards that I found when I went home to my parents' place. Now this was a combined collection between my brother and me. And so some of it feels like mine, some of it feels like my brother's. Long story short is, let me show you a few of my favorites. Uh, this is a first edition gray stamp Pikachu. You can see the gray stamp right there because it's a light, it's like a light stamp. It's like the stamp is running out of ink. I wanna get this graded. Uh, there is, of course, it's not in perfect shape. It's white on all the edges and stuff, but I would just love to preserve it. I actually acquired these later on, Blastoise and Venusaur. I got these on eBay because what we did have in our collection, here it is. It's not in the sleeve, can you believe it? Yes, Charizard from the limited set. You can see it has a shadow. You can see it's not first edition. It's you know not from base set two, but man, just holding this in your hand is just such a rush. So cool. Anyway, there's lots in this binder over here and I'm not gonna go through them all now because we don't have time, but let me know if you'd like to see more of this collection. Um, I will put a link down to the video that I kind of, I covered it very quickly, but there's a lot of gems in here. So many first edition, it, it's honestly nuts. It's crazy. All right, the last couple things that I wanted to show you are of course, what we will be doing as a celebration if we hit 1,000 subscribers. We are so close. All right, we're not gonna open up every single one of these, but I promise you in the future, we're gonna have more surprises. We have a base set two pack. We have, let's see, an unopened first edition fossil pack, the Venusaur, the Blastoise, and the Charizard uh, artworks for a limited base set. So cool. Ugh. 
so cool. We will be opening some of these if we hit 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and that's not all I have. I do have a couple others over here as well. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This was so fun for me. Again, let me know in the comments. Do you have anything from the past? Do you have any cool new modern toys or cards? Um, let me know. I'd love to hear about them. Stay tuned. We're going to be talking about Pokemon Go Tour Kanto and the Mystic 7 box breaks, two of them. Uh, Jungle First Edition and Base Set Unlimited. I am in disbelief. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for vibing. Thanks for chilling. Appreciate each and every one of you. I'm Light Screen, and I'll catch you later. Ready. Editor, huge dramatic music. <laughs> so good. Again, I edit my own video. I had planned? I think that's kind of all we had planned. Um, yeah. That's kind of all I got. Anyway.